Good afternoon everyone. This is the gutter margining writer page size talk. I'm Miklos. Um, I'm currently working for Collabora. Um, I have been working on writer for quite a while and today I'm here to present you a um, brand new um, writer feature in present in uh, LibreOffice 7.2 which is a gutter margins in writer page size so what is the motivation for this feature um, writer has uh, several different page styles um, one of them is the um, one, uh, several different styles and one of them is the page styles next to paragraph styles or character styles or, um, or list styles and uh, page styles are used to specify all kinds of different page properties you can't even directly apply formatting to a page you always have to go via a page style uh, this includes um, several different margin settings such as left margin right margin top margin or bottom margin uh, if you look at our competition, um, Word has um, an extra type of margin, it's called the gutter margin. Um, this is, uh, th the whole concept of, the, uh, of, of it is, is not that complex. Um, you can imagine that you are editing a book in a writer and you want to make sure that you have some equal amount of right and left margin. But then you print that book you give it to someone to actually do a binding on that book and that binding consumes a little bit of space on typically on the left side of those pages which means that the left margin will be smaller and the right margin will be larger so they are they do not equal anymore and it, it looks unprofessional so what you can do is that you define an extra space for the gutter margin and then from the, for the remaining space you can see on the user interface that the left and the right margin again equals and then it looks nice um, obviously you could do the same with just tweaking the left and right margin but then you don't really have this feedback on the user interface that the remaining space after binding is, uh, is something that equals on both sides um, and like it, it sounds this simple, um, the, um, the way uh, to complexity is that um, there are a few more details here. Uh, it can be not only on, on the left, but also it ha can have a custom position. Uh, you might want to consider right to left, right hand directions, and uh, page borders, and a few more things. So in the user interface, um, we have this, this page style dialog in online and also in desktop LibreOffice. Um, we have a new um, widget to control not only the left, right, top, bottom uh, margins, but also the gutter. And also for the gutter position, you can uh, have it on the left or, or at the top. So uh, this is how a new rendering result looks like. What you can see there is that on the left side uh, there is some larger spacing and on the right side uh, there is a smaller uh, spacing. And um, this is how uh, the reference looks like for a docx file. Again, larger spacing on the left and um, a smaller amount of spacing on the right. And this is how we used to uh, render this document in the past, which is not correct. Same amount of space on the left and on the right. Uh, this was the first round of this work. And um, after uh, giving it a bit of a rest, it turned out that there are a few more things to be done. So there was a second round of this work. And um, that was mostly focused on, um, on the right to left support. So it turns out that, at least in the OXMR specification, there is a dedicated um, uh, section level property for um, if, if this uh, gutter margin is right to left or left to right. And then we map this to write or paste size. So in case you open some word format, 
then uh, you get no get an additional checkbox on the paste type dialog uh, where you can see if uh, this uh, uh, this um, uh, get a margin should be on the left or on the right this means that even if like the position is not at the top which means left it might be actually left or right and this is what you see in this screenshot that um, in this case if this extra uh, boolean setting is enabled then you have much more space on the right and uh, not on the left uh, so the question is like how uh, this feature is implemented um, as usual uh, there is this checklist on the uh, tdf wiki in the development slash writer page uh, how to add a full new feature and um, uh, the procedure was quite similar here as well compared to other features um, so first um, we need um, uh, some way of representing this feature in the C++ classes in the core internal document model. Uh, one writer document is this swdoc class and inside that um, we have several page styles. One page style is represented by the SW page desk as in page, page descriptor or page description class. And inside that um, we have item sets as kind of property list for um, for the various settings. Uh, this will be important when we will get to mirror margins. Uh, so um, as part of that, we have a pool item called uh, left right space item, and that one has uh, members for left margin, right margin, top margin, bottom margin, and so on. Uh, that class now gained two new members, the gutter margin, and we have a dedicated right gutter margin. Uh, these two members are needed because when we will have a mirrored um, a page layout, then we will generate uh, dedicated uh, page styles internally um, for left and right pages. Uh, this is to help the layout this way, um, it will not have to do the mirroring as part of a rendering but as, as we create the layout we will have a separate generated set of properties for left and right pages which means that um, even if you um, don't enable the right left setting you just have your gutter margin in the inner pages um, then the generated left and left set of properties and right set of properties uh, will um, have different item sets so on the left side, uh, you will have gutter margins set to some non-zero um, positive amount of space, and then on the um, like this will be on on odd pages, and then on even pages you will have the gutter margin set to zero, and the right gutter margin will be set to some positive value. Um, once you have a document model. But uh, then um, the next step you want to have is some public UNO API, some new UNO property for this, because uh, this is um, how most of the work done by the ODT import and the docx import is done. It will build the document model using the UNO API. So again, uh, for the writer document, we have the Comsamstar text, text document service. And um, inside that we have the various style families we have the page styles and one page style is represented by this constant star style page style sorry now this this page style object has various properties like left margin top margin right margin and so on and um, initially i added one um, uh, new property there this gutter margin and then uh, in the second round which is um, again some integer, uh, typically zero, but it might be something larger. And um, um, in the second round, uh, uh, a second new property was added there um, if the gutter is right to left, uh, which is a boolean. Um, this is um, this right to leftness is something that's explicit in word formats. Um, also for word formats the user interface makes this explicit but in case of um, ODF this is something we can infer from the writing direction so if you uh, use gutter margin and you save it to um, 
paste style and and write it to ODF. Then the right to left satang is not something we write to the uh, file format. Rather, we will just write the writing direction and on import we we will set the right to left boolean uh, flag based on the writing direction. So the here the ODF format is a bit less redundant because typically nobody would need this right to left uh, gutter for a writing direction which is left to right. Um, on the other hand, for word formats, we do a one-to-one -one mapping from the file format. So in case there will be this unusual mismatch between the writing direction and um, the RTF flag of the gutter, then we can reserve, uh, preserve that correctly. Which sounds like a reasonable compromise to kind of please, uh, please everyone. Now we get to the layout, which is typically the most complex, complex piece for writer. Um, and ideally this shouldn't be that complex, like, like the layout is pulling the, the left margin value from the document model and now what we do, what we should do is that we um, pull the left margin and the gutter on the left side and we pull the right margin on the right side and be done with that. But there are a number of additional complexities. So first is the page border. Um, the, Page border is um, somehow between the um, between the edge of the page and the edge of the area where the, the, the body text is, is laid out. And the question is if you add some additional spacing there, then where, where the where the page border should be? Uh, should it be at, when, at, the, at the place where the, the gutter uh, spacing and the left margin spacing meets? Or should it be um, at this inner place where both the left margin and the gutter margin consumed its space and missed the um, body text area? And the answer to this is that the precedent is that the world is, is um, doing both of these um, um, spacings together and then it missed the body text area. So we do the same just to not introduce some additional painful unwanted incompatibility. Uh, so, and to make this even more complex, the border, uh, border, the page border itself can have its own spacing, but that spacing is between the page border and the page body area. So that way you can uh, make it so that the page border is uh, still uh, going towards the, end of the, the edge of the page. Um, so this was one thing to, to find out how to do correctly and then decide and uh, and make sure that the layout is taking page borders into account correctly. And um, then the second tricky piece was this um, page mar uh, mirrored page margins. So what we do is that we have some, like initially we have a, a, a single item set in the document model for page size, and then we generate um, a dedicated left set item set and right item set from that and then we use this left properties for left pages and right properties for right pages which means that even if you ignore right to left mass uh, we generate um, a left uh, gutter margin for left pages and right gutter margin for right pages and then layout can be faster because um, it doesn't have to know if this is a left page or right page it just once gets this item set and it will just render the, um, the correct amount of spacing on the left and on the right. So this is for the mirrored page layout. And third, uh, you have the right to leftness. Um, so even if um, the, the, there is no mirrored page layout, then, um, then what's nominally left is more like start of the page. And start is right for right to left and left is uh, left for left to right. And one thing I, I forgot to note here is that we can also have the gutter position at the top, um, which is again something layout has to take into account, but that's somewhat simpler because then right to left nest is, is, um, is something you can ignore. Uh, if you are at the top, that's always at the top. So that's, that's not special. Um, then uh, you have the, um, the importers or exporters and this is what we in general call filters. 
Um, so for UDF, uh, we have this uh, page layout properties, XML element in the style namespace, and that has various attributes for the existing left, right, whatever margins. And we, we now have a margin gator property um, attribute as a new attribute in the LibreOffice extension namespace. And there is a proposal of wide uh, at the um, UDFTC to put this to the um, uh, actual next UDF standard. Uh, for the getter position, that's something that's um, simply in the settings XML. It's a document uh, global property, so there is no standardization for that. We just write getter is at the top, and if this is true or false, um, this could be a paste type property, but then where does not support per section um, values for this property as well. So it sounds like nobody really needs this, then why add this complexity to the code? And we have similar uh, serialization and parsing for docx and doc and rtf. Um, what's uh, somewhat complex is that in the word formats uh, you have the, the border, the page border uh, spacing in a more complex way. You know the it's always on simple spacing, some positive or zero amount of space and that's it. But for, for Word, the, um, the border can be from the page edge or from the text, and that's somewhat more complex, uh, which means that um, in some cases we need to do a bit of mapping at import time and export time to, to arrive to this uh, simpler document model um, that we have in Writer that's always uh, calculating the, the border spacing from one reference point. Um, then uh, for the user interface, it could be just a spin button uh, for, for the gutter margin, but in reality this is a bit more complex. You have the gutter position, which is, uh, which is it could be a chat box, but it's, it's a combo box because that's what's uh, familiar for word users. And we also have this check box for, for if, if this is right to left or not. And this is hidden in the ODF case because in ODF case um, the inferred is from the writing direction. Um, also, what's some additional complexity is that you have this um, this uh, preview widget on the um, on the dialog, and that preview widget is taking that margin into account. So you you do uh, see um, some increased amount of left spacing here and right spacing, and the left and the right uh, margin is the same. See, it only happens because the, the gutter margin is, is um, taking, take, um, taken into account during calculation of that preview vision. Now we get to testing, which again should be simple, but then it gets more tricky. Uh, so we have um, uh, a core layout test um, just for the, the actual layout if, if we um, render the page border at the correct place. But then we have a separate test case for the mirrored margins case. Um, then we have um, the writer OXML export test suite, which is actually import and export. And we cover the docx filter there. And then we have some separate test cases um, for the page borders, if the page border is measured from the page or from the text. In one case, we exactly do what um, what writer would do anyway, and in the other case, we need this mapping to the writer document model. Uh, then uh, we have um, an ODF export test suite, uh, which is again ODT import and export. So we need to cover the ODF piece there. Then we have the um, WW8, which is the binary doc format, import and export. Um, RTF has the markup to represent gutter margins and if the gutter position is from the left or from the top. We also have RTF markup for the right to leftness of the gutter margin. So all this is covered in the RTF export uh, test suite, which is again import and export. And then you redo everything just for the from top case. Uh, when the, um, the gutter margin is not on the left but on the, on the top and then you repeat everything for the right to leftness. So it's, um, it, it's, it's more than a matrix uh, just for testing. And it sounded like it's something simple but then it gets complicated. Um, 
and then we had to do uh, help content for this um, so the users actually see what's a gutter margin in case they are not familiar with the concept if they don't have a tick in their head that I yeah yeah this is for my name um, and as usual this had to be paid by somebody even if it's shared for the community for free so thanks for that and um, to sum this up uh, writer no has full support for gutter margin this is something that's in each and every word document and we used to lose this setting in case it was not zero and now we preserve it properly render it properly interact with that properly and here is where you can see the slides in case you want to watch them later thanks for watching and in case you have any questions then perhaps after this there will be an opportunity to ask those thanks again uh, that uh, yes indeed we have I was thanking you and I was uh, saying that yes indeed we have some questions from some minutes for questions and uh, I see so far one question from Mark who was wondering how does it work with uh, vertical writing layout uh -huh. uh, thanks for the question um, so it's a, it's a bit of a shame uh, all right to laugh most there's something that was uh, covered in detail and uh, for the actual vertical writing that's not something that um, that was explicitly uh, looked into or something that was explicitly tested uh, the idea is that um, this is um, the gutter margin is, is typically influencing some existing margin like top margin left margin right margin and um, hopefully it does the right thing also for vert vertical layout but in case it does not done it would be worse than blood report uh, to describe what is the expected behavior there and how we go wrong there because like it, it might happen that um, something is problematic um, somewhat ironically I think uh, the original request from this was via some partner who had a customer uh, somewhere at, at uh, uh, some in some country where vertical writing is not that rare so it's uh, it's somewhat ironic that um, th this was not explicitly tested so feedback on that would be welcome uh, hopefully it, it, it just works out of the box or if it is not then hopefully it's something that's reasonably straightforward to fix any other questions i don't see any question here uh, does anyone has anything to add so I guess Mark needs to get in touch with you regarding this. I yeah, guess we know so. each other, so okay, we okay. Are fine. We are okay, fine. cool. <laughs>